Okay, welcome to In Nature's Realm, the Journal of Australian Fly Fishing. And in this video, we're going to learn how to tie the wiggle net. Now, uh, we start the, we attach the thread just behind the eye of the hook and advance down to the bend. And this fly um, has two hooks and you'll see later on why we use two hooks. Now next we take a bunch of cock hackle fibres, brown in colour, and tie them in at the uh, base of the uh, hook. And then advance the thread back to the eye of the hook and then trim the excess. This is, or well, this hook is imitating the body section of the net, and the second hook will imitate the forex section of the net. And we take some gold wire and we tie it in at the tail fiber position. And you can use copper wire, silver wire, whatever is your preference. And once we've done that, we need to turn the hook upside down as we begin in the light. Okay, now we take some chocolate brown seals for it and um, we just take a pinch of that and we spin it on the thread. Nice and tightly, tapering a small diameter to a large diameter, and that's the way the body should be constructed as well. Small diameter at this part of the hook, and a large diameter when we get to the eye. Make sure that it's nice and tight. Just need a little bit more seals for Spin that on again. Okay, now we take um, the secondary feather from the uh, teal feathers. Now the teal feathers have the main feather and they also have a secondary feather and then they're very small. These are just absolutely perfect for imitating the gill fibers of the nymph. So we tie the base section just behind the eye of the hook. And placing it nice and flat, we take the gold wire and we secure the secondary feather down. And then we create the segmentation of the nymph by winding the wire back to the eye of the hook. It's just fantastic. These fibers just under the water they pulsate and they make the fly come alive and that's what we want with our fishing flies. Okay, now we 
on the for the uh, go wire off and cut away the excess and then we tighten it up. Also take away the other end of the secondary fur. Just make sure it's all nice and tight. And all those fibers are coming out along the side of the body. Okay, take our whip finishing tool and we whip finish and we complete the first section of the rear neck. Now we will take our second hook and this will be the forex of the neck. Then we will start just behind the eye, bounce down to the bend of the hook. Then we're in line with the bar. Now we take some monofilament line. Now I've got uh, four pound here. You could use six pound, uh, whatever your preference is. Um, four pound to six pounds fine. We'll secure that down along the shank of the hook. Now what we do is to take the first section of the milk and making sure that it is upside down, we thread the monofilament through the eye and create a loop. And it is the loop that gives us the wiggle action of the fly. Secure that down. Nice and tight. back down to the bend. Now we take some UV glue and we put it around the base of the loop and along the body shape and this will secure the monofilament to the hook perfectly. We take our UV lamp and secure or cure, so cure the UV wool so that it's nice and dry and, and hard. Right now, we take a secondary feather again from the tail, we strip off some fibers from the side of the feather, and then we tie that in at the bend of the hook, making sure that the fibers cover the loop or the monofilament loop. And not only is it great to cover the loop and hide it, but it also acts, acts as additional fibers that pulsate under the water. And we take our pheasant tail fibers and we tie them in, making sure we cut away the excess. These pheasant tail fibers will act as the wing case to this section of the neck. Okay, once that's all nice and securely bound down, we take some chocolate seals for again and spin it onto the thread. And we create ourselves the forex of the neck. Needs to be a bit more bulkier. But again, spin it nice and tight. Up.
the middle of the X that's away there. Bring the thread back just behind the eye. And then we bring the wing case or the fibers over for the wing case. And tie that in. May have some stray fibers along the side there. Need to get rid of them. Cut away the uh, excess there at the front. And trim away some of these fibers. Make sure we're covering the monofilament loop. Now we turn the fly upside down again, and again we take our secondary feather and strip off some fibers, just a very small amount to, to add as the throat helper. Trim away the excess. Add it all up. Now we just wind it down a little bit and take our whip finishing tool and we whip finish the fly. This is a great fly to fish in rivers um, and lakes um, and the action on it is absolutely fantastic. Um, this fly actually works really well when the Kosciuszko uh, duns are hatching or the emerging nymphs are coming up, the big mayfly that we get in some of our rivers like the Goulburn, uh, like the uh, Midmina River and a few others. Let me just take a little bit of UV glue and we cement the head there. And again, using our UV light, we cure the UV glue. And it takes 10 15 seconds, cures that glue effect. All right, so there is the wiggling action of the wiggle nymph. Fantastic fly, definitely give it a try. Um, okay, so um, thanks very much, and uh, talk to you next time. Bye-bye.